Arena Sabalenka versus Emma Navarro is the first semi-final for the US Open for 2024. Both ladies had different roads to get to this stage. Navarro entered the tournament as the 13th seed and would take on Blinkova in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-1. In the second round, she'd take on Rus. And again, no problem getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-1. In the third round, she'd take on Kostruk, the 19th seed. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, Navarro would get away with a third. 6-4, 4-6, 6-3. In the fourth round, she'd take on Goff, the third seed, who she'd played against at Wimbledon a couple of months ago with a good win. But this is a lot closer, with both players splitting the first two sets, but Navarro too strong in the end, 6-3, 4-6, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Navarro would take on Bedosa, the 26th seed, and after winning the first set but going down 5-1 in the second, Navarro would fight back to win, 6-2, 7-5, to advance to the semifinals. Sabalenka into the tournament as the number two seed, and would take on Hon in the first round, but there's no problem getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on Bronzetti, but again, no problems getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-1. In the third round, she'd take on the 29th seed, Elegant Drover, a player who had beaten her a few times times before in previous meetings. And this was a battle. After dropping the first set, she would fight back to win 2-6-6-1-6-2. In the fourth round, she'd take on Mertens, who had just beaten Madison Keys in the previous rounds. No problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 6-2-6-4 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on Jung, the seventh seed, who had just won the Olympic gold medal a couple of months ago. There's no problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 6-1-6-2 to advance to the semifinals. These two were played two times before, both this year, and it split down the middle 1-1, with Navarro winning their first match at Indian Wells on the hard courts in March. March, and then at Roland Garros, Sabalenka getting the win there in straight sets. So it's going to be an interesting matchup on a faster court this time, whether or not it helps or hurts Navarro against Sabalenka. Navarro's going to win this one. She needs to be aggressive and she also needs to defend super, super well. We saw that Zhang really struggled with that power of Sabalenka and Sabalenka seems to be getting stronger and stronger as the tournament goes on. So Navarro's going to be really clean in the ground strokes, defend like hell if she's going to be any chance of making the final. Sabalenka's going to win this one. She needs to serve well and just play aggressive like she always does. She should be able to beat Navarro on a fast a court like this. She was able to do it to Zhang, and we know how good Zhang's been lately, so fast court should suit her game, and the serving and the big ground stroke should be the key. Great matchup, and great to see Navarro, after such a good season, making it this far in a Grand Slam, but I have to go with Sabalenka in this one, in three sets. I reckon Navarro might be able to grind out a set, but I just think Sabalenka's gonna be too strong in the end, like she was against Zhang, and make the final, but let me just the comments below. Who's gonna make the final?